What were the like up and coming guitar players at that time that were influ influencing your playing and your approach and your tone? Um, I always think of like, you know, like we, the, the era that we're talking about, like Andy Summers and maybe the edge or people like, who were you listening to that was having an impact on what you were doing? Well, I, I loved Andy Summers playing, um, t tonally it was quite unique. It was so chorusy, but his, uh, the, the chordal structure and the way he took up space in those songs, in those police songs. You know, Sting was a pretty pedestrian bass player. He wasn't flashy or anything, and he had a very that's, round... That's going to be the pull quote from this interview, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Great bass player in that band. He did, did, did his job, for sure. Uh, very melodic, and he's a great bass player. Bass player. But he wasn't... Uh, uh, too flashy and it didn't take up too much space sure. and I think that left more room for Andy to create a broader uh, palette uh, in behind sure. you know a really great drummer and a really great bass player and a great vocalist so it was a whole different context from from what we were doing um, Alan Holsworth uh, maybe a little bit earlier but through that period as well he was such a fantastic uh lyrical player i mean he sounded he played like a sax player and i know he played sax as well but all his phrasing was like that and his use of the vibrato arm was what really got me into using a vibrato arm i thought i thought you know i'd never heard it it wasn't it wasn't a whammy bar it was a vibrato arm uh. and he would gliss between notes and phrases and in such a way it was stunning to listen to well there's a lot of that in the solo for limelight that we're going to focus on today which right. is why i brought this uh this charvel i don't have a lot of uh guitars with floyd roses on them right. and, and in trying to sort of woodshed through this solo i realize i'm terrible with the with the tremolo bar you're gonna have to tune me up on this thing today <laughs> like i make a lot of noise with it but um but you but it's so beautiful the way that you're sort of sliding into the, into the notes yeah it's kind of funny with the vibrato arm it's a it's a very delicate uh appendage to the guitar you know i think the way i use it generally is you know i'll i'll play <laughs> something so it's not so much of the right right just to give it a little sizzle it's just a little subtler thing and it's a it's a downward vibrato so it's different from, you know, playing the typical. Right. Yeah, it, it, I just think it has some more emotion 